everyone, welcome back to The Restaurant Show, and we are gonna do Taco de Mayo with the Marley's Island Seafood and Grill here with the executive chef, Jess Castillo, and his sous chef, Randy Aleman. Is that right? Yeah, that's right, correct. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, how are you doing today? Great, thank you for Great. having us. You have brought quite the taco spread here. This is everything. Yes, we have. Everything that deliciously can be put on a taco, you are doing it right mm -hmm. now, including making the tortilla, right? Making the tortilla. Talk to me, chefs. What do we have going on here? I guess this is the key part right here, well, starting, right? You know, tacos, at least in the United States, are our family time tradition. Yeah. We love taco night at the house, right? I love it. I, taco Tuesday. But you've in never my really <laughs> had a taco until you've made your own fresh yes. corn tortilla. Taco Bell doesn't count. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Queso loop is out the no, window. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> No, this this is something to share. So we got these fresh taco um, tortillas that we've okay. been making, fresh corn tortillas, so they are gluten-free. Um, we have four different varieties right now. We okay. have an adobo one, which is the orange color. Okay. We have our regular corn tortilla. Okay. We have an ancho and oh, uh, chipotle I've tortilla. I've never had one like that. That's awesome. A little That's spicy awesome. in case yeah. you want to spice up your life. Yeah. And then we have a cilantro and lime. Right, like it. And this is the base of it, And this right? is the base of it. Okay. Um, and it's pretty much a one-to-one -one ratio. Okay. Don't follow the directions on the bag because no. they will lie. Don't do it, yeah. Because they want you then to go to um, your place and eat the tacos. That's right. <laughs> All right, so let's make those tortillas. So then we start with the corn flour. Okay. Then we're gonna add water, a good amount of it from the get-go, just then, to get it going. Yeah, and then you can add from mm -hmm. there, right? Correct. Beautiful. And now you can season this any single way you want, and literally, that's how as you, you can these. see that over okay, there. Okay, so that's the different. So what you're gonna be doing, and his, as he's doing that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna match up certain tortillas with certain mm -hmm. flavor profiles here. Absolutely, right. and then we also give our customers a choice if they want to switch up their tortillas okay. with their protein, they okay. can do that just fine. Beautiful, beautiful, but obviously you have some suggestions that Absolutely. you're gonna make that go great here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go for it. So, um, we are gonna take our cilantro and lime tortilla, and we're gonna take this and we're gonna do ropa vieja with it. Okay. Ropa vieja has a Cuban style of braising beef with gotcha. the tomato, lime okay. juice, red okay. wine vinegars. And Randy, that's your background, right? Correct, Cuban. so we, we came up with that dish together pretty much. Beautiful. I love mm -hmm. it. This really is coming from the soul, guys. These guys know what they're talking about. Absolutely. So we're just going to grab a little bit of this ropa vieja, put it on our taco shell. What if I can't say it? How do I order it? <laughs> that one. That I want the, I want I the want... Cuban braised beef. Okay, there we go. Yes. So don't be nervous. There's an no, easy way to say it. Um, and then we're going to take a little bit of lettuce. Let me give you the plate there. Beautiful. And we make our own queso fresco in house. Oh, and this batch was. You made that, and I had it when we, you know, we did some events together, and it was mm -hmm. absolutely delicious. That is gorgeous. So then you got one here. Okay, beautiful. We'll kind of build that as we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm gonna take this. I'm not I love a big it. fan of spice. Right. But when you put something, a proper protein on yeah. this, it's just absolutely amazing. So what is our choice for We're that gonna today? do barbacoa style oxtail. Bar I Barbacoa is traditionally cooked in the ground okay. in Mexico with onions and garlic and cilantro stems, not the leaves, because ah. we want that real pungent yeah, cilantro man. flavor I in there. Yeah, I love it. So we're gonna take this and we're just gonna put a little bit of regular cabbage on here. Okay, let me put some stews over here for you too. Beautiful, and I like the thin shaved on and that. I'm gonna reach over Chef Randy here and I'm gonna take some pickled red onions. Beautiful. So that way you got a little contrast to that heat and you get a little sweet, a These little sour. These are just gorgeous combinations of flavor profiles. I, lo I love the depth of the flavors on it. And okay. I'm gonna go for the adobo because I'm I a flavor kind of yeah, guy. Yeah, I love it, I love it. And we're gonna do this with the al pastor. Okay, and the al pastor is a pork, right? Al pastor That's pork. is pork and okay. traditionally it's cooked on a spit, kind of like a gyro. Because right, the right. Lebanese actually migrated into Mexico and Mexican people love cooking meat on a yeah, spit. Yeah, I love it and too. And they ended up making al pastor. We make it a little there. differently at Marley's right. because we do it a little bit more kind of like you would do a uh, pulled a, pork. A pork, yep, absolutely. Slow, but low and slow. Low and slow. Key. I know he's about to put that, just yeah, to show so real quick how you do that. You. This so is you how you actually press. make the press, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna do is you wanna put it in the plastic. Right. Press it down a little bit, put the other one on top. Beautiful. Press. He makes it look so, oh wow. And then you cook that off. Mm -hmm. But it has to be cooked though, because that's, that's not ready gotcha. yet. That's not ready yet. So you're gonna put it on a hot sizzle pan, anywhere from 400 to 450 degrees is fine. And then cook it No up. oil or anything. If you feel it might stick on you, use a little bit of nonstick right. spray. It's okay, not okay. too heavy, because you won't, don't want to diminish the flavor of that Got it. of the corn. Got it, So he's gonna finish building this, and while you're building this last one off, I don't want to run out of time, tell us about what's going on for Taco de Mayo. So for Taco de Mayo, we're running taco features all month long. Okay. All different kinds, as you can tell right yeah. here. 
Yeah, gorgeous. And then, um, we have drink specials all month long. We're running three dollar Tecate beers, Coronas, really, Modelos. Really pairing up the really flavor profile. Really pairing profiles. up the flavor profile. I love it. But on Cinco de Mayo, though, you really are doing some three dollar mojitos, three dollar sangrias, three dollar tacos across the board. You can't go um, wrong with, with that. all our taco features that we've been running. Um, and we're also doing an event on the 15th of May, which is the Taco Libre with La Isla Magazine at Shelter okay, Cove. yeah, check them out and check their booth out. Absolutely. And there's voting. And there is voting. Yes. So sh sh show us one more while, while we have just Chef a, a Randy, little bit left. Do you want to go ahead? Do you want to go for it and make you one up? You want to make one here or you want to make a tortilla? Let's make a, let's make let's a taco for Make one tortilla. like you did, it, Chef. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so we're going to do this. <laughs> the way I would start off is with the Ropa Vieja just yes. like you did. Which is a Cuban style. Mm -hmm, I would go after that one. We had that Excellent. yesterday. Excellent. And now, again, these are ones that you're going to actually put the flavor profiles Correct. together. Correct. So yeah, people so can that's why we, we put the adobo one with the Robo Vieja. We try love to change it. different ones up. I love it. So I would put cabbage, Good a little bit of you. queso fresco, like he said, and then maybe change it up a little bit of corn salsa as well. Excellent. And what is the. Um, is that a, just good old guacamole? Well, guacamole, and, uh, and that's avocado creme too. Fantastic. So we have different type of dressings as well. So many different flavor profiles. It's like mm -hmm. literally is a party. It is. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Check them out all month long for Taco de Mayo. They've got some wonderful outdoor seating. We do. Um, and is the ice cream shop open? The ice cream shop is officially open. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So from 4:30 to 9:30 at night. Beautiful. So a great place um, to either have dinner and then dessert afterwards, or even after maybe having a movie. Check them out and the, um, the park. Plaza right over there in front of Sea Pines. Thank you so much, chefs. Thank really you. appreciate Thank it. You. And we'll be back in just a moment.